Hi all, it's time for a shave. It's the 30th of uh, September 2024, which is the last day of straight temper. Uh, the month which, uh, for me, my own challenge was to use a different straight razor, uh, a different soap, and the same brush uh, each day of the month. Uh, this is a group challenge over on Reddit, and other people have um, interpreted it in slightly different ways. Uh, uh, in particular, some have used the same razor uh, each day all month instead of varying it, uh, and ha they have varied the brush. But in my case, I wanted to uh, uh, raw hog a, uh, a single bore brush all month, and so I did that. Um, and so this is the end of the end of the month. Let's get uh, going and then I will show you uh, what what we're doing for the day. So the um, soap for the day is uh, some uh, 40-ish uh, year old Old Spice uh, shaving soap. There's the soap. Um, this is the Schulten Old Spice soap, which is really the, the only authentic Old Spice. Uh, we later will be using uh, Old Spice uh, again, 40-ish uh, years old um, aftershave, Schulten. Um, and um, uh, this will be, hang on just a second, this will be the uh, last day using the uh, Zenith brush uh, each day in succession. Certainly not the last day that I use this brush um, uh, in its lifetime. Uh, this has turned out to be an amazing brush. I am loading from the, from the cup here. Um, Amazingly, this, this soap, even though 40-ish years old, I, don't, I, I dated this stuff once in a while back when I got it, but um, I don't remember what those dates are. Um, amazingly, the soap has some of its um, scent still in it, um, uh, and it's uh, building up a very nice looking soap paste. Yeah, man, this is the scent. This scent just brings back memories. I, I used Old Spice for many years uh, as an aftershave and actually was given a um, cup of the, the soap with a old and stiff brush when I, by my father when I first started shaving back in the 1960s. I used it for a while but quickly quickly uh, progressed into uh, the more modern oh, excuse me more modern uh, foam in a can Everything in a can back then was uh, really, really important. Um, cheese in a can was invented back in those days. I mean, there's really the greatest invention next to rocket science is cheese in a can. I think probably only Americans would go for that. As you can see, this 40-year-old soap is Lathering quite well. Part of that is having a, a bore brush that's pretty terrific. I mentioned this yesterday. If you were in the market for a bore, get this one. I'm dipping the tips in, in a cup 
the water and adding and and painting in painting water into the lather. That's all I'm doing here. Okay. For the razor, uh, we will be using uh, my Corot 14 2.0. I honed this in a previous video. Uh, so this is in addition to the last shave of September, it's also a test shave. This is a JNAT edge. It feels just like a JNAT edge. How is that you say? Well, soft, feathery. Kind of hides, kind of hides its softness. It kind of hides its sharpness. I, should, I meant to say. Very nice feeling edge. So you might wonder, on my last shave of the month, why I chose the Corat. I brought this up yesterday in the honing video, but we, our Reddit group, has made a deal with Ulrich to obtain some group-specific uh, Quarat razors and um, sign up for that it has been underway and is available to those who have been contributors to the group and members of the group for a while. We've had really very surprisingly good response. Okay. Yeah, we've had really, really good response to that. And so that razor will be uh, in this this um, profile, the uh, fourteen two point zero profile. It'll be um, hollow ground. Uh, but in the uh, but finished like one of uh, Ulrich's piggy bank razors, um, which frankly I think are 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 very cool. I, I don't own one, um, but if I were to sell one of my three razors, I would, I would get one, but I'm about to have four razors, so four uh, Corot razors.
So as you might guess, um, using a different, using a different um, straight razor was not difficult. Each day this month was not difficult. Nor was uh, using a different soap. I've got wow, wow! What a first! Wow, what a first! Uh, what a first uh, pass! Soap's great. Improves with age. Unlike unlike some of us. Um. Yeah, so I have enough soaps to, and razors to go the distance for one month. Um, I mean, straight razors to go the distance for one month. And I have, uh, enough soaps probably to go for over three months. Uh, actually, actually, over four months. If you uh, average each month is thirty days. I know I have. I have uh, somewhere somewhere in excess of one hundred and twenty soaps, which is again ludicrous. I mean, who does this stuff? Um, I like to. Uh, refer to my collection of shaving gear in the same way that Jay Leno refers to his collection of cars. Jay Leno says that he has more money than sense. Now, Jay Leno has a lot of money, so he could have very good sense. I say the same thing. I, I have, for my shaving collection, I have more money than sense. Unlike Jay Leno, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not that wealthy. So you can then infer uh, uh, what my level of sense is. Yeah, I've, I've, at some point I've got to thin the herd. I have, I have soaps I want to buy. I have razors I want to buy. I, I have razors coming in. I mean, not to sharpen. I mean, razors that I that are coming to me to join the collection. I I definitely have razors coming in to sharpen. So yeah, it wasn't, wasn't, and I'm a daily shaver. Oh, it's been one day since my last shave. Um, since I'm a daily shaver, it's not really a stretch for me to shave every day. And I'm using a straight razor every day is simply a pleasure. Anybody who's just starting out, uh, I've said it before, you don't have to be a geezer to do this. In fact, I, I recommend that you you don't that you start long before you're a geezer. It takes a while, you know. It takes a little, a little working to get to get here. But you can do it, and you will. You know, it's a it's it's a skill. It's fun. Fun to practice. Feel is is indescribable if all you have used so far is a cartridge razor or even even a DE razor um, or an S a single edge razor like a micro media open comb. I mean that's a considered to be a uh,
a pretty aggressive razor. Um, and really what that means is it's a razor that, that requires you to develop some technique in using the edge because it's, if you use it properly, it's not aggressive at all. Um, so, um, the feel of a straight razor, when you have learned to manipulate all the directions that the, the blade can go and, and learned to do that um, for your particular face shape and your particular beard, uh, it's an accomplishment and it's enjoyable and the feel is terrific. As I said before, it's different. So, I urge anybody who's young and who has not taken this up and who happens to be watching me, you know, do it. It's worth it. Uh, take it from an old geezer uh, with way too much stuff. So what's next, you might wonder, in uh, this Reddit world of a challenge every month or a, a project every month? Well, next month we're doing Tabaktober, which is a contraction of tabak. I'll do the uh, shave and butcher approved showing of the tabak jar. Uh, so we're doing tabak, so it's a contraction of tabak, uh, afana, uh, klinga, and October. Afana klinga is open blade, so we'll be once again using. Open blade, open blades all month. Hopefully, you're you're catching on that we're we're basically just finding an excuse, right? Uh, and by the way, I don't speak German, so I'm I'm certain that my pronunciation is awful. So and and feel free to correct me. I don't I don't mind in the comments. I suck at this. Okay, um, that, oh, we got to do the aftershave theme. One of the most, this is the part that brings back, really brings back memories. sure the razor was set properly so it wouldn't wouldn't go sliding anywhere doesn't really need this is just an alcohol based splash I used to the reason it brings back memories for me was this was my daily daily driver for many many years you know shaved with us shaved with a Started shaving with a double-edged razor, but uh, moved to a cartridge razor pretty soon. So here we go. Oh boy, that feels good. I'm used to used to the feeling of an alcohol splash. I don't have any any irritation. What I'm feeling is the what feels good to me is the alcohol drying off so quickly and of course leaving the the incomparable scent of, old, of traditional Schulten Old Spice. Doesn't get better than this. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, thanks to all who watch. Uh, I'm going to um, just let, uh, I'm not going to list uh, all the people who we've who are sort of in this group, you're, you're going to be seeing them. The YouTube algorithm will pull them up if you see something from me or something from them. 
Uh, so thanks again. Feel free to comment. I always appreciate them. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.